everybody, it's Momo, and I'm going to be making my first card using the new smiley cards. I was so excited when I got my update yesterday, and I planned immediately something on my gypsy, and um, it's a really, really cute card, I think, at least. Now, what I did was I just used a circle, um, two circles, and I welded them together to make a circle card, and this is... It's a five and a half inch circle. So um, I got two of them and like I said, I welded them together. And then what I did was I got a smaller circle and this one is four and a half. And it's gonna go right in the center. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and adhere that down. Okay, perfect. So I went ahead and I adhered down the pattern paper. And now what I'm gonna do is I have this stamp and um, it's part of this happy birthday cupcake stamp and I can't for the life of me remember who this is by. I know that I got it at Michael's and it just has a bunch of little cupcakes and stuff. But it had like a border um, stamp that has little swirls and little squigglies. And what I did was I bent it into a circle because what I wanna do is I want to stamp this all the way around the circle on the border. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'll show you um, how I actually got it to bend. It just it takes a while, so I just wanted to go ahead and stamp it before because I already got it to where it's perfect to go around the circle. So I'm just inking it up with some brown ink. And then I'm just going to line it up. Okay, and now I'm going to show you something. As I went all the way around, what right before I meet here, obviously the stamp is bigger than, um, than where I'm stamping. So I'm just going to put a piece of paper and I'm going to stamp over the piece of paper just to make sure that it lines up but that it doesn't stamp over the part that I've already stamped. And that actually turned out really, really huge. So here we go. So this is the way the stamp is. It's normally straight. So all I did was I put my block on top of my circle and I actually sat here and just kind of bent it to the shape of the circle. And then I stuck it down just like that. So I kind of did it that way. So that's the easiest way to kind of line it up so that it's the shape of whatever it is that you're going to stamp on. Now that I've done that, I'm, I, I am going to still go around with my white gel pen on the between the stamp and the circle just to bring the white back out again because I did do that in a brown. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and do that stitching and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and I finished all of my doodling. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this uh, ribbon and it's by Paper Tray Ink. And it's just um, some regular um, grow grain ribbon and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attempt to tie a bow but if I can't do the bow then I'm just gonna do a knot so let's see how it works out okay so I went with the bow and then what I'm gonna do is since it is a circle card and I did it on the actual crease of the circle card I'm gonna put a pop dot here and I'm gonna tie it so that it stays on the front of the card so let's go ahead and get a little glue dot Okay, and that's actually perfect. And we're just going to go ahead and burn our edges so that our edges don't fray. Perfect. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to figure out how I'm going to put together the card and the sentiment. And this is our little cake that we're going to put on here. And this is the one from Smiley Cards. And this is cut out at three and a half inches. And I used all of the layers and the shadow feature. So I think I'm going to put this off to the side. And then I'm going to do just a little sentiment here. Okay, here we go. So I decided to put the sentiment um, onto just a little, just a regular little square or rectangle. And we're going to have our cake off to the side and then our sentiment right about there. I'm going to use my Scrappy Mom stamps 
and I'm gonna put one that says happy belated birthday and it's not that I forgot anybody's birthday but um, it's a good hand a good card to have on hand just in case so that's the sentiment that I'm gonna use and I just inked it up a little bit and we're gonna put it right there and this I'm gonna actually adhere straight onto our card And it's okay if it hangs off a little bit off um, off the corner there. And then for the actual cake, I am not going to use Pop Dots. I'm actually using a new product. They're called Action Wobbles. And um, there are a few of us. I'm sure that you've seen Flower Disco and Pam and uh, Emma already using them. There was a few of us that were asked to try them out and give reviews and um, show them to you guys and, you know, see how they work. And basically, it comes in a little pack like this. And they're, they work just like pop dots. It's meant to elevate um, like any die cuts that you have. But they also it also makes them wobble, which I'll show you once I already adhere everything on. Um, these little circles are about an inch um, wide. So you can't do anything too tiny, but um, it works perfect for these kinds of die cuts and all kinds of other stuff and it's got adhesive and it tells you which is the top and which is the bottom and you just peel it off which you'll see me do now now you cannot buy these yet they're gonna be um, available in January of 2011 so um, I know you guys have to be a little patient and I'm it sucks to show you guys something that you can't really buy yet um, but get excited about it because it's really really cool so I'm gonna go ahead and peel the top off and then you see it turns clear because this is the sticky part and what we're going to do is we're going to turn our little cake over and we're going to go ahead and stick this right onto our cake here we go and then we're going to go ahead and peel off the back and then we're going to adhere this part right onto our card And just make sure everything is adhered down correctly and there we go look at this isn't that adorable it's like <laughs> this would be so cute on everyday paper dolls to have like a bobble head or something and just it's cute because the way that the cake looks it looks like it's just laughing and it's very mobile so that's why they're called action wobbles because they obviously wobble so it's a great new product We're, you're gonna be seeing a few um a few more projects with this and I might do a giveaway because we get a ton of them so I might separate them into like groups of like maybe five or six and do a few giveaways I know that's what Emma did so I thought that was a really good idea um, you know to maybe just separate a bag of these and give a little bit out just so you guys can get a feel for them and and see how um, how fun they are I mean there's so many possibilities to do with something like this so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this card I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you guys get excited about the action wobbles because I know I am. So, all right, smooches. Bye.